So black economic empowerment is sort of like the conversation of the past few years, you know, and this Thanksgiving, there was this sort of like black owned Friday for black Friday. And it was just like Google sort of promoting, uh, black economic empowerment. And a lot of people might not understand why it's important. First of all, we know that there's an economic gap between, uh, black people in society and other people. And it stems from slavery. It stems from not just slavery and, uh, but the systems that were built in place, like redlining, um, like all these different things that were built in place to ensure that black people stayed poor. Right. But now there are a few things that contribute to the lack of black economic empowerment. So when you look at the Asian community, the white community, the Jewish community, these individual communities, money circulates within them. I believe uh, the Jewish community is 20 days. The, uh, the Asian community is 30 days. The white community is 17 days. And this is how money circulates within them. But the black community is six hours. Now, there are a few reasons why this happens. The first is when we think about the economic issues. And every time it historically, when black people in America were able to create wealth and build wealth and build communities like Tulsa, Oklahoma, we found that there were a lot of racist societies that brought them down. And, the, and this was actually, actually a thing where they would like, they would drown these cities. Over the past couple years, more Americans have become familiar with the story of the Tulsa race massacre, where a white mob burned a vibrant black community to the ground, which is crazy. Even crazier, dozens of other black towns have been erased off the American map, not by burning them down, but by hiding them underwater. And all of these towns, which are currently literally underwater. So this thing is not documented in history enough. Aside from that, a lot of white families were given loans and actually m most families, apart from m m minority families, were given loans to build their wealth. When you look at the wealth in America, 80% of wealth in America is generated through real estate. So white families were able to build wealth through real estate and black families and minority families in general were not allowed to do this. So that is historically, that is why this is the case. But why today is there a lack of black economic empowerment? But before I get into that, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. It really pushes this video out in the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos. This video is brought to you by Brand Video Pro. We help brands and influencers scale their influence and sales. So if that is of interest to you, head on over to our website, click the link down below and find out how we can help you. And how can how is that changing? And it's the fact that still till till this day, money circulates within the black community community it takes six hours and it's not just the black of community in, in america i think when you look at nigeria right and i bring up nigeria because that's where i'm originally from my family's from nigeria and i think about yes money circulates naturally it doesn't make sense for money not to circulate more than six hours it circulates in the country but you find that a lot of the money that's circulating let me put it this way People are conditioned in Nigeria to spend money outside, to put to put money into European countries. I mean, this is such a deep conversation because you have to look at colonization and how Africa was sort of developed to extract. So there's always like, so when you look at it, like in a way, there's no, there are no roads or infrastructure that goes within Africa to facilitate trading, etc. Even within Nigeria, there are only systems to extract from Africa. And then when you look at Nigeria, when people become wealthy, they take their money out of the country and they they spend it outside and within the country the prices of things are always diminished always lower people don't want to spend real money on people in the country but they spend they wouldn't think twice about spending a hundred times that money outside the country so this is not just an issue in black america but this is an issue with black people universally so that's one thing, right? The issue, the reasons for black economic, the lack of black economic empowerment. And I really love the efforts that Google and other companies, not Google didn't start this. So a lot of companies that like the nihilist is great. 
but there are companies that and Beyonce also has a whole list, a directory of black company businesses, black owned businesses. And I think it's just very important to support black businesses. And if anyone is coming from this saying, what did, what do I have to gain by doing that? At the end of the day, there is a level of discrediting when things come from black people. There's a level of a lack of trust. And, and that has nothing to do with black people, but that has to do with the branding white supremacy has given black people. There's a level of disregard of trust, etc. cetera. Um, and so I think that, that we just need to work in society to change that narrative and to change it. So the ways to create black economic empowerment, empower black businesses when you can, buy black, Google is promoting it. Just empower it because when you look at how the world has ripped, just look into history. I have some documentaries that, that I'll link down below, one of them which I made. When you look at the history of uh, white supremacy, you look at the history of slavery and look at the history of oppression towards black people, you will find that these systems were created to keep black people poor. So the best things that we can do right now is empower blackness, right? So that's the first thing, put money into blackness. Then the other component of it is pop culture. Pop, Pop culture is a huge point, right? I keep making videos about ownership and the importance of having ownership and black, a lot of black creatives i'm a lot of black there are a lot of black people that are very very talented very creative but we never own stuff and when you look at people like oprah and tyler perry and even kevin hart who own their own studios own their own production companies own their own network it shows the importance of ownership i think that black people especially and people in general but black people especially should stop selling stop selling to the highest bidder Create and build your own. So ownership is very important. And then when it comes to pop col- pop culture and the, this culture of hip hop, of wasting money spent, it's just so sad. Like there's so many things, like there's so many levels to this. It's, it's to the point where black people don't even trust black people to spend money within black organizations. So when it comes to it, when people have money, they take their money and they go and buy you know, other brands from other countries, LV, Chanel, Gucci, all this stuff, right? But what if you could spend that money? Like, look at Beyonce promoting Telfar. If we could promote black people and empower black people, it just works. So anyway, go check it out. Google's black-owned businesses. I'll I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. The importance of black economic empowerment. It's so important. Let's spread the wealth, let's spread the knowledge, all of that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenim, and see you next time. Peace.